The correct paddling technique is sitting up with a straight back, leaning slightly forward and with your head up looking straight ahead. The catch or entry of the stroke, it should be close to the ski, fully submerged and square to the ski. To ensure a good reach, twist the upper body before the blade enters the water. And to help with the reach, you can pick a point on the ski like in front of the foot straps to aim for. The catch should be controlled yet aggressive without slapping the water. The leg drive is critical to provide maximum leverage to the blade. As you can see, when Stephen's left arm enters the water, his left leg drives into the footwell to gain greater power. The winged blade is designed to move away from the ski throughout the stroke. From the entry, it will drift out to the exit point. This movement away from the ski does not need to be forced, as the blade is designed to do it off its own accord. Twisting the upper body utilises the much larger muscle groups as opposed to the smaller ones. This in turn generates a greater power to move the ski forward. The blade should exit the water at mid-thigh level, cleanly, not throwing up any water, and it should be a relaxed action. To ensure a clean exit, the elbows should bend staying low to the water, while the top hand, which is the recovery hand, punches forward at eye level or above. To ensure maximum speed, you must accelerate the blade through the water once you've secured a good catch. And remember, your fingertips should be relaxed at all times without grasping the paddle too tight, or else your forearms will fatigue. All right, so that's how you paddle a ski. Let's go and have a look at doing some starts, a key component in a ski race.